This was one of the scariest moments ever in my life. Right, Izzy? Mm. Isaac is breastfeeding right now, but he is hooked up to a bunch of machines. We are in the observations unit at Children's Hospital mm. because he had mm. a little bit of Alfredo sauce and mm. that was the only thing different. He had a severe mm. allergic reaction and he was having trouble breathing, so we had to call the ambulance. And we were transported to Children's Hospital from the ambulance. So, super scary. One of the scariest times in my life with my any of my children. And we are here being observed. When we got here, they gave him an epinephrine shot. Steroid, a breathing treatment, and I gave him Benadryl at home before we called 911. So, he's been through a lot, you guys. And we're getting an EpiPen to go home with, and we are going to see an allergist. Is that what they're called? An allergist. He's my sixth baby, and I've never had this happen before to any of them. So, definitely scary seeing your child struggle to breathe. Alea has severe asthma, as some of you guys may know, so that's also very, very scary to see your child struggle to breathe. But this was just a different experience. Different kind of scary. It's scary with asthma and scary with allergic reactions. They're both different, <laughs> different experiences for sure. I was totally taken by surprise. <laughs> Do you want to tell them how you say mom? Mm -hmm. He says mom so cute. He goes mom. Mm -hmm. Mom. Mm -hmm. You're being so good. You are being so good. Guys, he's mm -hmm. being so good. The Benadryl made him a little sleepy, so mm -hmm. he was a little on the sleepy side, so maybe that's why mm -hmm. he's so calm mm -hmm. and cuddly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this was so scary, and that is why a video mm. will not be posted today. Want to show them the room? Want to show them this? He was pointing to this. What is that on you? So he's hooked up to a bunch of machines right here that are connected to that machine. This is our room. There's his car seat that we brought in the ambulance. This is the observations unit. There's my ginger ale because I'm so nauseous from being so anxious. They just brought him in some Honey Nut Cheerios. And where's your water? We do have a cup of water for him that they brought in. But this is what our room looks like. That's his crib. If we have to stay the night they did say that I could ask for a bed so we could both lay in the bed together so that was really nice this is the room from like a different angle but yeah it's a pretty small room but if we end up staying the night like I said we will ask for a bed and we will get as comfy as we can in the bed because I can't fit in there you guys this is the chair that we are sitting on little socky over here we're gonna put that over there they have this for his oxygen it was so scary how he was struggling to breathe but his oxygen is doing much better his breathing is doing much better he's still pretty sleepy the epinephrine definitely helped or the EpiPen and like I said we will be seeing an allergist after this 
and they're giving us an EpiPen to take home. So when I get home, I'm going to read the packet of the Alfredo sauce. That was the only thing different that I can think of that he had because he's had mashed potatoes before, he's had noodles before. I'm going to check the ingredients of the Alfredo sauce. and see if there's like egg and milk or something like that. We are not going to have any definite answers mm. until, well, this angle looks funny, <laughs> until we see an allergist. So I will keep you guys updated on that because I'm stumped. But if he is allergic to dairy and egg, that was like a double whammy. I'll insert a clip of how his breathing was in the ambulance on the way here after he had the dose of Benadryl that I gave him before he had everything that the hospital gave him. I know. Are you feeling much better? Yeah? <laughs> this angle is so funny. Oh my goodness. It's like you can see everything though, so I kind of like it, but if you are filming somebody, it makes their like head and body look weird. <laughs> but he breastfeeds, so he's never had like a cup or a bottle of formula or milk, so this is definitely a mystery as to what he's allergic to until we see an allergist, which is going to be ASAP. I know, you don't like it. I'm so sorry. And those, I know. You're hooked up to a bunch of different things. You want your snack now? Okay, we can have snacks. These are his favorite, and this is what they brought him. That was so nice. They were like, what kind of cereal does he like? I was like, um, whatever you have. <laughs> but he basically likes plain cereal, so I did tell them if you have plain cereal or anything like that, nothing sugary. He doesn't like juice. He only likes water. He doesn't like sugary, like sweet things. But he does like Honey Nut Cheerios, and this is what they brought him. Yummy. Is it so good? Chew it up good. Mm. Don't spill, okay? Let's hold it like this. These are even like the little hearts ones that we have at home too. They're so cute. Chew them up good. I get so scared with all my babies. Like when they start, well, he's been eating solids for a long time, but I still get anxious when they're eating things like this. Like chew it up. You guys can kind of hear the breathing still. They said his lungs sound good, his oxygen mm -hmm. sounds good, but there's still like mucus and stuff that you can hear. Is it good? Yummy, yummy. Your favorite. Okay. Oh, did you blow on it? Is it hot? <laughs> You're so silly. He has Maya's blue eyes. Isaac and Maya are my only two blue-eyed babies, you guys. <gasps> no, mommy don't want one. That's okay. I'm going to let him snack a little bit, and I will update you guys soon. How are you feeling? Mm. So he's acting more like himself, you guys. It's been about an hour since the last clip. I'm not hearing too much in his airways anymore, but I do mm. still hear something. They said it's normal to hear a little, so don't be concerned. We're still not sure how long we're going to be here for. I will keep updating you guys, but his vitals, they all look good, so that's good. Are you enjoying your snacks and your water? Uh-oh. You get it. Water, you're right. He's going to be so happy when we leave and he gets to disconnect from all of these cords because he does not like it. But he's being so good. You are being so well behaved, Isaac. You would think that he would like want to rip them off. I mean, he does, but you would think 
He would. I don't know. I've never gone through this before, but I do know that he doesn't like it. But he's being so well behaved. You're such a good boy. I love you. So cute. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Is that good? Water, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> you can see on his belly right here some rash left over. <sighs> that the Benadryl didn't clear up. He just finished his Cheerios. He does not like all of these wires, you guys. Here's his little bandage from his epinephrine shot. You don't like these, I know. I'm so sorry. He just wants to breastfeed again. Mm. I know. We're watching this. What does it say? Discovery Kids, I think. But it's a bunch of animals, so. Isaac's loving it because he loves animals. I think he's getting tired because it's getting late, so. Definitely tired. Mm. I know. Look at the cheetahs and the tigers. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. Mm. So they just came in and checked him over. It's 10.30 p.m. And we are clear to go home. They said he sounds so much better. When we got here, he was having such trouble breathing. It was so scary. Mm, thank you. But he's doing so much better. He was all right around his mouth, too. And that has pretty much cleared up. Thank you. Do you, you want to tell them how you say mom? Mom. Good job. It's so cute. He goes, mom. But we are in the clear to leave, you guys. That was so scary. They're going to give us an EpiPen. So I'm editing the video right now, and I just wanted to show you guys that these were the EpiPens that were given to us for when he or if, hopefully not, has another anaphylactic reaction, like allergic reaction, that only an EpiPen will work for. But I think it's really cool that they gave us this box because it does have a trainer pen in it. So we are able to practice. It doesn't have the epinephrine. It doesn't have the needle in it, just so we know how to use them. The doctors did explain it to us and the nurse actually demonstrated with the trainer. So I think that it's a really cool thing that they do have that just so you know how to use it and you can be sure that you are using it correctly. And then there are two in here. They did tell us that if it ever happens again and we have to use this on him, we are to to call 911 or get to the emergency room immediately. So those were the instructions for the, the EpiPens. And we're going to see an allergist. I think that's what they're called. And we will keep you guys updated because I still don't know what actually caused this severe allergic reaction to where he couldn't breathe. That was so scary. Scariest, one of the scariest moments of my life. And you want to tell them bye? Say see you guys next time. Say bye bye. Say see you on our next video. You want to wave bye bye? Uh -huh. Bye yeah. bye. Good job. Good job. You're so cute. Mm. Say bye. 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 Can you wave bye? Bye. 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 Say bye. Bye.